open dissent by some ANC MPs during the Palapala Pala vote has created another battleground between factions. President Sildur Maposa's allies are calling for Dr. Nkosa Zanat Lamini Zuma, Super Mahuma Pelo, Mervyn Dirks and Moseben Zizwane to face the disciplinary committee. Yeah, but it appears they won't go down without a fight and are now planning to attend this weekend's national conference. The conference, of course, by the ANC. Govan Whittles has more. In Parliament laid bare the contrasting views between ANC factions on the party's position towards the Palapala report scandal. Damini Zuma, NC. As a disciplined member of the ANC, I vote yes. As a disciplined member of the ANC, I vote no. Zamini Zuma explained that she voted for the adoption of the report because the debate on it in the NEC meeting was stifled. You debate issues, and when you have debated and you've been given a chance to debate, the conclusion that is reached you all follow. But if we are going to allow a situation where debate is stifled in the ANC, then how do you then have conclusions that need to be followed by everybody. The governing party's head of the presidency says members of parliament who voted for the adoption must face disciplinary action. It bothers on ill discipline not to follow the party line. And the fact is that it is not the first time that people agree with the party line, not because they agree with everything or the debate and so on. Mm. You know, the, has got to, the new incoming NEC has got to process this matter. If you can expel 16 councillors in Maluta Pofu, expel councillors in Klokwe, you know, uh, why would you apply different, uh, different rules? The MPs plan to resist such a move. It's not the first time that this has happened. Hmm. It has happened before. Nobody has been expelled. So I think it's important that we must be consistent as the organization. The ANC disciplinary process allows for an appeal to be filed within 14 days of the decision and means the five MPs won't be barred from the elective conference. But they may face an even worse fate after the conference concludes on Tuesday. Voting against the party line at a time that is so close to a conference of the party uh, was not necessarily very thoughtful because what's going to happen is that these members have opened themselves up to a potential to be purged after the ANC conference. Lamini Zuma's open defiance has also raised expectations that a cabinet reshuffle by the president is now imminent. But it appears even the ANC's top leadership will wait until the conference is decided to make a move. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Govan Whittles in Johannesburg.